Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Carb Spice. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, today I have my husband, Ron, to uh, talk to you guys about calves. I put out a poll on Instagram and a lot of people, a lot of people, to me it was kind of overwhelming, um, showed interest. So he's here to talk about his journey. Um, we're at home just kind of casually um, sitting around. We're just going to talk to you guys and hopefully um, his tips and his story will inspire you because there's a myth that guys, especially black guys, well black guys, cannot grow calves. And I can tell you, I I have seen his journey and his calf, calves growth was really, really impressive to me and to many others. So, Ron. All right. From the, from the, from the get-go, I'm going to let you know. I don't have the greatest calves in the world, but I did experience some significant growth. And like a lot of black men, I too, you know, genetically, I was not gifted with, with big calves at all, you know. And uh, when I started lifting weights, I started, my, I started lifting weights in my teens. And for a good period of time, a long time, uh, up until my mid-30s, I mean, I struggled with having small calves. And the thing that I used to hate the most is when people assume because of my small calves that I didn't work my legs and that, you know, and I used to get, you know, teased with that or, or, or you know, people used to bring that that up all the time, you know, always, assume, always assuming that I didn't work my legs due to my, the size of my calves and that, that used to really get under my skin. Even though I still do squats and everything, but you know, my, you know, my, my Achilles heel was my calves. And, um, so basically about eight to 10 years ago, I started my journey because I was just tired of people assuming that I didn't work my legs, you know, because of my calves. And when I, you know, my calves at one point, and this is no exaggeration, it was about 14 inches you know, around, you know, in, to take a, a tape measure, it was 14 inches. I had, I had small calves. So one day I just decided, you know, you know what, I'm going to really destroy my calves. I'm going to start, work, I'm going to work my calves harder than anything else, any other body part, you know, from now on. So, and the thing, you know, just, and I did a lot of reading and research about working on calves and how to build the calves. And, um, what it came down to, the conclusion I got from it is that, you know, you really have to destroy, literally destroy your calves, um, you know, in order to stimulate growth. And also, you know, also don't forget the fact that you have to eat, you know, because, you know, you have to eat in order to grow. So I made it a point whenever I did my calves, I made sure I ate a lot. The day of, the day before, you know, the day of, the day after, you know, the day after, even the day after that. Because, you know, the next day you're, you're sore. And the day after that, if you're, you're, still, you're probably still sore. So you want to take advantage of eating to, in, in order to build. So I, I was very mindful of that as far as eating, you know, the day of, the day after, and the day after that. Tell them how many sets you did in the session. Um, I did... In a week, I would do, uh, you know, at least, for the very least, 24 sets, which is like twice a week. And that's the very least. Um, sometimes I'll do more. And um, so, but when, when I did my calves, what I also did, which was, which, which, what was really important was um, when you work your calves, you also work, when you extend on the calf raise, you want to, of course, go all the way up to your tippy toes, full extension. But then what is vitally important as well is, you know, when you go down on the negative of the, of the calf raise. And you, you get that, you, you know, you let your balls of your feet go all the way down and almost and basically touch the floor, stretching, you know, your, your, basically stretching your muscle, your anterior tibialis. And you know that's that's a part of your the size of your of your calves. You know your your that that area of your calves. You know because people neglect that the, the anterior tibialis of the of the leg. So that's what added to the growth of my of my calves as well. 
So, um, basically in summary, you have to destroy, totally annihilate your calves. You have to, because that's what I had to do. And I work, as I said, I work my calves at least twice as hard than any other, uh, other body part. And you have to do it at least. So I do at least 24 sets a week and more. You know, probably as much as 32 sets total. You know, so... Um, but you see, a lot of people, you know, the ones who complain about not having, you know, blaming genetics and blaming, it, oh, they can't get their calves to grow. Usually, the people that say that, what I've noticed is that they don't work their calves, you know, harder than any other muscle. They work other muscles harder. But when it comes to calves, they might do like maybe eight sets, maybe six sets in a session, you know. Which is, you know, if you want growth, that's not going to be acceptable. You have to really destroy your calves. And as I said, you know, I started off with 14 inches. Now, right now, I'm pushing a little bit over 17 inches, you know, as far as, you know, growth. I, I, I basically added three inches of calf size to my calves. So, and I, you know, we're going to show you some video you know, coming up that will basically show, give you an idea of what I do as far as my calf exercises. So, and I, I, you know, really, I do a lot of sets. So what you're going to see is just maybe one or two, you know, have a few sets, but in reality, I'm doing a whole bunch. So, you yeah. know, and as I said, my calves, usually my, the next day, my calves are, are, you know, destroyed and I could barely walk, which is, this, that's what you have to do. So, that's basically what it is. I mean, is there's nothing more, you know, not much more to it than that. So, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Alright guys, so, we're headed to the gym and I hope you enjoy the footage and I hope this makes sense and I hope you got something out of it. Thank you. Until next time. Peace. Okay, I'm gonna do some cab raises, and when I do the cab race, I'm gonna, as, as before, go up all the way up on my tippy toes, and then when I go down on the negative stretch, let it stretch all the way down and push down on my, you know, let my heels go, let my heels go all the way down, and focus on that stretch to work on that uh, anterior tibialis. So check this out. Stretch. Boom, go. That's how you do it. Focus on the the negative, which is as much as 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 important as when you go all the way up for the tippy toes. So a lot of people don't focus on the negative, so and that's very important if you want to build size on your calves.
now I'm gonna do a um, single leg calf raises. So when I do the actual calf raise, I'm gonna focus on the negative contraction. That's important too because you want to focus on the negative so you can hit the anterior tibialis. And so and also when you when you extend, you wanna put extend with your toes all the way out. So when you extend your toes all the way out, and when you go back on the negative, you want to feel the squeeze on your tibialis, anterior tibialis. Let me show you what I'm talking about. See? You focus on a negative stretch on the tibialis section. So, so you start off like that, let it stretch for a little bit, for about a few seconds, and then you extend. Hold. Then feel that negative, the contraction on the negative. Extend, hold. The negative contraction. And hold it for a couple seconds. Stretch. Then stretch, then contract. Stretch, then stretch. Same thing, do the same thing on the, on the next leg. So. Can you get on this one?
the next time you're going to do it with your, with your toes pointed in. So that's what we're going to do next. Man calves. <laughs> yeah.